So today I'm going to be showing you how to assemble our new Tucker Adventurer bag set. These bags are ideal for any type of trail rider, but can sustain you on a ride for up to three days. This set includes a pommel bag, saddle bags, and a detachable candle bag as well. So first we're going to be attaching our pommel bag. We're gonna place this up here to kind of give you a point of reference. Unattach these straps here and get them ready to pull through your pommel. Once your straps are unattached, we're gonna run them through the pommel here. And then we are going to reattach them. So when attaching your pommel bags, it's important that you run the strap through the middle of the buckle, adjust it, and then run it back through the top to allow for maximum compression of the strap against the pommel. So once you have your straps initially reattached, what you're gonna wanna do is fasten these as tightly as you can. So once you have your bags initially attached, you're gonna want to hold your pommel bag level with the pommel, allowing for you to tighten the straps as much as possible to take as much weight off of the front of the bag. By getting maximum compression from the straps here, you're evenly distributing the weight of your back across the saddle and relieving the withers of your horse from any weight from the pommel bag. So when getting ready to attach your pommel bag to your second point of connection on your saddle, what you're gonna wanna do is flip this bag up here. So in the front here, we have our strap that's gonna act as our second connector, but here we also have our compression strap. So for me to get it out of the way and allow for easy connection, I like to go ahead and flip this over to the top here where you would be using it to compress your bags on the trail. So once you have it out of the way, you can go ahead and flip it back up. So when you get your bags, it's gonna come attached in the front here. This is totally rider preference, but I like to have my second attachment point at the second ring. So the strap is easily removable with our quick release features. Feed it back through on this side and then bring your strap down and safely secure it through your front saddle rigging. Once you have it attached, make sure there are no twists in the line and pull it snug so that there's no room for bounce. By having this additional compression and point of connection here, you reduce any bounce that you might see in your bags while on the trail. So now that we have our pommel bags attached, we're going to start attaching our saddle bags that include our detachable candle bag as well. So when getting your bags out of the bag that they come in, you're gonna know that they're facing the right way by this contour that's built into the bags here. And you're gonna wanna place them right up against the back right here. So once you have your saddle bags already kind of resting on your saddle, what I like to do is go ahead and flip up this side bag here. I like to flip my compression strap over, allowing me to kind of keep everything nice and tidy while I'm getting ready to connect my saddle bags to the saddle itself. So once you've got your compression strap over your bag, if you wanna go ahead and tighten it up just a little bit to keep it nice and tidy and organized while you're connecting it, that's totally fine. So once that's done, you're gonna look for these two connection straps here. I like to go ahead and pull my stirrup up at this point, allowing me clear access to my front rigging here. So you're gonna take your front top connection strap here, unlatch it, run it through your rigging at the front, run it back around and reattach. You can give it a little tug if you want just to get rid of that extra slack. And then take your secondary connection strap here at the bottom and run it through that same rigging. Again, give it just a little tug to take the slack out of it and you can release your stirrup. So once your saddle bags are completely attached, let's talk about our detachable cannel bag. Your cannel bag comes with four attachment points, two on this side and two on this side. You can quickly release it with these snaps here. So once your bag is released, you are able to use the candle bag on its own with these D rings right here. You can use your saddle strings that come on your saddle to tie off to. You can use your candle bag as is. You can use it with the saddle bags or completely alone with it tied off to the saddle strings. So when you get your candle bag, your candle bag is going to come attached this way which is totally fine. If you like to be able to access your zipper while you're riding, you can leave it as attached. We like to deattach it and turn it around to face this direction. So by reattaching your candle bag facing this opposite direction of how it comes, you're able to utilize these hooks back here. I like this better so I can attach any additional tools or any items that might not have fit in my saddlebags or my candle bag to begin with. 
So something that was really important to us when designing these bags was comfort and protection. These bags in the front and in the back set offer a fleece lined bottom here and this is going to protect your saddle and your horse from any potential rubbing that could occur and within these bags there is a half inch foam layer so this allows for your horse to have better shock absorption through your ride allowing you to both be comfortable on the trail and enjoy your ride so on each bag of our Tucker Adventurer set, you will notice that there's a compression strap. While we love for everyone to go out on the trail and have a good time and enjoy it, we want you guys to be safe while using the bags, as well as for you and your horse. So these compression straps are really important for you to use to keep your bags from hanging on anything that you may encounter on the trail that could cause the bag to hang and spook your horse. In addition to using this to keep you and your horse safe, these are also good to maintain the longevity of your bags by keeping them in a compressed condition, allowing them to not get hung on any obstacles. So now that you have your Tucker Adventurer saddle bags all attached to your saddle, let's talk about some of the really neat features that this Palma bag has to offer. So here we have our pocket for our headlamp and it snaps right here, allowing you to put it in easily and access it easily as well. Right here we have our pocket for your cell phone. This is a waterproof zipper that keeps water out of this pocket. This entire set is water resistant, but the zipper here allows for the pocket to be waterproof. And right here we also have a pocket with a snap as well to feature a holding spot for your multi-tool. So on this front pocket here of your Tucker saddlebags, you have an easy pocket on the front for any light goods or items that you might want easy access to. This main pocket right here with the second zipper is gonna allow for a ton of storage here if you can see how wide and deep that this bag is. In this specific bag, this product does come with a water bladder you can fill this up to three liters, but we recommend only riding with it full to two liters to allow for equal weight distribution and keeping your saddlebags light and easy on the trail. So you can fill your water up here. You open it, hold it like this to fill. Once you have your water bladder filled to the level that you would like it to be at, you're going to reattach your lid and screw it on until it feels snug enough. Place it back into your saddlebag here. And this leaves you with plenty of room to put any other goods that you may need to store in this bag. You'll notice that there is also a valve here to run your water spigot through. I like to attach mine underneath my compression strap on this side to keep it safe and easy to attach and easy to grab when needed. By using this, this allows you to keep your hands on the rain and eyes on the trail instead of having to turn around and find a water bottle and take a distraction away from you and your horse. So moving on to our detachable candle bags, as you can see here, we have a drawstring bungee. This is the perfect place for you to keep a light jacket, a raincoat, or anything that you might want easy access to on the trail. When you're unzipping the candle bag here, you can see that the Tucker Trail tent fits perfectly. These bags are detachable, so you can detach easily here with our quick release latch. This handle allows for you to maneuver it when needed. And additionally, if you have any last minute items that you wanted to add here, anything that would clip to your belt, or if you wanted to carry a bedroll with you, this would be the perfect place to attach it. So if you choose to use the bags without the candle bag, that's totally fine and you still have plenty of options of how to use it. These compression straps here with the easy release snaps allow you to pack any tent or bedroll that you would like to use here. This is also an ideal place for any long, narrow items that you have that you might want to take with you. On both sides, you'll see that these easy grab handles here allow you to pick up on the bags when needed and carry them when they are not attached to the saddle. So getting into features that these back bags have to offer, as you'll see here, we have these leather loops. These loops allow you to attach things that would clip onto your belt, such as your radio, your flashlight, your speaker, anything like that can attach here. Right here, you'll see that we have a fleece lined cup holder that does have elastic at the top. These cup holders can hold your largest type of water bottle that you wanna carry with you. And the fleece is really important. It allows for protection against hot or cold beverage against your horse. Right here, you'll see that we have a front pocket that allows for easy access of anything that you might wanna grab easily while you're on the trail and on the move. And again, we have an additional compression strap here to keep your bags nice and safe and prevent any obstacles from interfering with your ride. So getting into this bigger portion of the bag here, we're gonna start at the bottom by releasing these quick release buttons here. As you can see, these compression straps are at the bottom as well, and you can tighten them once your bags are packed. So let's release these here. Upon opening your bag, you'll see that there is a zipper right up at the top, and this pocket is lined, and it is the full dimension of the top part of the bag. Moving down, you'll see that there is a front zipper here. This allows you to just compartmentalize your packing, gives you plenty of organization. And the center bag here is really cool. We have a fully waterproof bag for all of your electronics. 
not only is it waterproof, but it is also detachable. So if you get to your destination where you want to be and get out your electronics, you can do that while still keeping them safe in the waterproof bag. In that pocket as well, you can see where the bag snaps back in. And there are also a divider to, for, some, for some bungee cords here for allowing you to keep your items safely secured and organized. In this large pocket up top, you will see that it's pretty big and open, allowing you to pack what it is that you think you need. Against this back part of the bag here, there's a divider, but it's also a insulator to keep your horse's body temperature regulated against any cold or hot beverages or food that you may have in this bag. This does not actually insulate the food or keep your food at a certain temperature. This is more so for the horse's protection. The only differentiating feature from this side to the other side, this side is the one with the waterproof pouch where the other side does not have it. Other than that, both sides are identical in their design. They both contain the compression straps, the leather loops here, and the insulated cup holders. So this Tucker set is completely water resistant, but we wanted to offer an extra level of protection to our riders and users by offering a waterproof option. So at the bottom of the pommel bag and at the bottom of the saddle bag on one side, you will see that they are equipped with a rain fly. These rain flies are to be used once the bags are off of your horse and protecting against any additional moisture and however you want to protect your bags while they are being used. So this is the bag that your saddle bags would go in. And then up here on your pommel bag. So when you're ready to take your bags from water resistant to waterproof, what you're gonna do is get your rain fly out, get your bags here. You can kind of fold them up if you like, however you want to get them into the bag or whatever easy is for you. These bags have plenty of room, so if your bags are already packed, don't worry, there is still plenty of room for you to get them in the bag in their entirety. Place them inside the bag. As you can see here, the drawstring is elastic, allowing there to be plenty of room to get your pommel bag in. Once they are in, you're gonna use the drawstring here to close it as much as you would like to.